welcome happy people. And I say happy people because you know I like to speak things into existence. It's your favorite therapist, favorite therapist, Dr. Roy Mitchell, also known as Doc Mitch. And I want to welcome you to another episode of 90% Mental, where we explore psychological topics and apply them to men's mental health. Why? Because we got to talk about it. As men, we have families that depend on us, hustles to maintain, and communities that need us. However, there's no one popping the hood to see if our engines are running at optimal speed. So it's me, your mental health mechanic, and today's topic is communication. As I promised last week, we talked about the four horsemen, and today we're gonna to be talking about how to apologize. That's right, how to apologize, people. Let's get started. Apologizing means expressing regret for something that you did. Now, I know many of us think that apologizing is about buying roses, buying candy, um, you know, purchasing extravagant gifts, and all those are great, but it's more so just putting a Band-Aid on an open wound. Um, I wanna talk to you guys about how to apologize and how to be sincere about your apology, because um, that's very important. So, a sincere apology means reflecting on your actions, taking responsibility, and listening and improving. So let's talk about reflecting on your actions. Think about how your actions contributed to the problem, even if they were not the sole cause. You wanna do three things when reflecting on your actions. Determine what was your role in the problem. Think about the other person's perspective. How do my actions look from their side? As a result of my actions, how might that other person feel? Now, let's discuss how to take responsibility. Say I'm sorry, but also show regret for your actions. Be clear and sincere when you're showing regret for your action. In most cases, it helps identify the actions that you're apologizing for. For example, I'm sorry for the way I spoke to you during that argument. That was unnecessary and it was uncalled for. I'm keying in on the action, how I spoke to you, instead of just simply saying I'm sorry. Also, never make excuses or try to justify your behavior. I'm sorry for the way I spoke to you, but I was tired. Just saying the but negates everything you apologized for. Lastly, I want to talk about listening and improving. How do you listen and improve? Give the other person a chance to respond without any interruptions. Forgiveness may take time and it's not guaranteed. Be prepared to discuss the changes that you're going to make to avoid the problem next time. That's really big when you're apologizing. Now, as men, we carry a lot of myths um, when it comes to interacting with our partner. Thanks to therapistaid.com, I got some really good tips um, on how to apologize, but also um, they also discuss myths that we all feel when apologizing and, and then the reality of those myths. And so I wanna describe some of those things to my listeners. Love means never having to say I'm sorry. How many of you believe that? I know we got some old heads out there that believe that. I see it in some of the relationships that uh, I come across. So that's a myth. The reality is an apology communicates that you care about the other person. Apologizing is simply saying I'm sorry. Reality is merely saying that you're sorry is not a complete apology. An apology, you need remorse and you need an attempt to show that you're righting your wrongs. You also have to take steps to make sure the problem isn't repeated. Apologizing will make you look weak. The reality is an apology shows that you are secure enough to admit you have done something wrong. It also shows that you have respect for yourself and the other person. As we recap how to apologize, which is a strong form of communication, we wanna remember, reflect on your actions, take responsibility, listen and improve. And by all means, let's get rid of all those myths about how to apologize or say I'm sorry to someone. So I hope these last two weeks of me discussing communication tips was helpful. Um, you know, remember those four horsemen, remember how to apologize. It's a strong form of communication. It's a strong way to commit to those relationships and keep those bonds close and tight and show the other person, regardless if they're a part of your family or someone that you associate with, that you are a secure, strong communicator. So I can't leave you without a quote of the week as usual. Uh, the quote of the week comes from no other than Stella Young. Apologies are great, but they don't really change anything. You know what does? Action. Let that sink in, people. It's about the actions. Actions change everything. 
Until next time, get in the comment box below, like, subscribe, share. Um, many of these tips came from um, therapistaid.com. Um, I'm bringing them live to your living room so you can get some of this information, keep this great information in rotation. And uh, hey, can't wait to see you guys next week. Who knows what topic we're going to discuss. Get in the comment box if you got a topic that you want me to discuss. Hey, go ahead and put it in the comments and I'll make sure I get to it. Until next time, people. Signing off, Doc Mitch.